Hello and welcome to this video. Uh, I have just downloaded a program from Vegas called Movie Studio HD 11. And it's your very basic uh, $49. And for a lot of you people, this $49 is going to work. Uh, but I've just started to open the files. I've, I just started my first project. And something I ran across before that took me a whole lot of searching and digging to find is I've got three clips here that came off of my camera I downloaded from my camera and I go down uh, upload a clip and it just says warning an error occurred while opening one or more of the files and the reason could not be determined blah blah okay this is gonna uh, set a lot of you people back as far as uh, this is gonna set a lot of people back as far as you know not knowing how to resolve that so I'm just gonna go ahead and open my browser here and I use Firefox you can use whatever browser you want to but one thing that I've come to find out is you need QuickTime so just type in QuickTime C Y C K T I M E into your favorite search engine and just click on you know it's Apple QuickTime I'm just gonna say download QuickTime 7 and I'm just gonna pick the easiest links which is download now I'm gonna go ahead and download it might ask me for an email address then again it might not I have no idea I'm just trying to keep this video nice and short to make sure that uh, we know that this is gonna work and hopefully I won't have to reboot my system in order to demonstrate this but in order to uh, pick up an mp4 file uh, for example I've got a Sony Cybershot camera and it picks everything up in mp4 and so now I'm gonna this is gonna ask me if I wanna run this and I don't know if it's gonna take down my Camtasia while I'm running it but I'm gonna go ahead and hit run and we'll see what happens and it's preparing to install run installer yes 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 So I don't know if you're still with me or not. Uh, if not, I'll just have to uh, make a part two to this and splice it together. I'll check here in a second. But then it'll go through its dance here and install things. At this point, you can close that. At this point, if you want to, you can close that. I'm going to check this. Yeah, we're still recording, it looks like. So please wait while QuickTime installs. This may take several minutes. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, if, if need be, I'll just edit out how long it takes for this to install. Now it's going to ask me some more if I want this to install. And yes, the answer will always be yes on that. And we'll just let the install program go through and do what it has to do. Excuse me, I have a terrible cold. And it's just, uh, it's just walking through that. And I may or may not have to reboot the system at the end of this. So let's see, QuickTime installer is successfully installed on your computer. Do I want to read a whole bunch about it? No. Do I want to go pro? No, I don't really want to go pro. Uh, let's see if I have to restart this program or if now I can go ahead and open those files. So I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click that and it says no, it, it ain't happening. So I'm going to go ahead and close. Uh, I've got a trial version of that and then I'm going to go ahead and reopen. Hopefully I won't need to re reboot my entire machine for this to take place. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go over here to open the media and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to try it one more time and now whammo there it is. There is my media and I can drag it down to my video track here and I can go ahead and click that and Hi there. Today I'm going to show you while in the Now I've got my media. So yeah, that that's how you open MP4, MP4 files in all versions that I'm aware of of Sony Vegas, whether it's Movie Studio HD 11 or HD 12 or both uh, Sony Vegas Pro. So that's how you open MP4 files. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been helpful. If it has, please give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video.